Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, thank you very much for being electric. Now, I want to show you the quickest way to connect this three phase single phase uh, phase failure. Now, this is a very simple to use device, yet uh, crucial. Okay, so let me show you how you can connect the thing uh, so easily. So, let us first understand this device. Okay. So, definitely we've done a number of videos on the channel, okay? You can check them out. So, there is some writing here. Uh, in case of phase fail, our indication will be off. Definitely, if there is no power completely, uh, this device, all this will be off, okay? So, uh, this is a phase failure. Uh, which uh, can monitor both three-phase and single-phase system, okay? So, let us look at uh, the futures here, all right? So, this device monitors uh, over-voltage and, uh, and under-voltage, okay? Under and over-voltage, all right? So, usually what happens is that... Uh, the device itself it's rated so all all the percents you see here are all you know calculated basing on the this number here this is 240 okay so meaning uh these percents if you're expressing this number in percentage uh it will be based on 240 all right so this is under voltage and we have percentage from 55 to 95%. Okay? So for instance, 55 of 240% will give us around 132 uh, volts. Okay? And then uh, 95 uh, 95 will give us around uh, 200 and uh, around 228, yeah. Then when you come here to over voltage, 105 will give us around 230, and then 125 will give us around uh, 300. So here on uh, under voltage, if you set to 55, so you have around 132 volts, meaning we have some device which can uh, operate uh, very well at that you know voltage. So meaning the the, uh, the device can operate between 100 and uh, maybe 30 to 240 so if the uh, if power you know alternates between those two numbers still the device will work fine all right but then if voltage goes anywhere below 55% or below 132 then it will deactivate okay so this knob here because this is purely analog so this knob here will be for you to set your under voltage thresholds and then here over voltage thresholds uh, expressed in percentage. So in case the fault is uh, under voltage, this light will indicate. In case it's over voltage, this light will indicate. Okay. Then we have got um, a knob here for delay. It's a timer. So on delay timer. Okay. So this one usually work if there is a... Uh, uh, a function that is active, let's say under voltage. So maybe uh, the voltage has gone below your set threshold, then the circuit will deactivate. So that means if you set this delay to 15 seconds, when the voltage comes back to normal, the timer will start counting 15 seconds before it closes the circuit. Okay? Now let us look at uh, the inputs and outputs. So right here, uh, we have power inputs. So you have your phase one, red, phase two, yellow, phase three, blue, and you have a neutral. Okay. And then if you're using it for single phase, you're going to short phase, phase one and P, then you connect a neutral. Uh, then it will still uh, work uh, the same. All right. So right here where we have the output, so we have a relay here which must be operated if 
uh, for instance, if all the three phases, if you're using three phases, if all the three phases are healthy and are present, then 15 will be close to 18. Because normally 15 and 18, 15 and 18 are open, and then 15 and 16 are closed. Okay? So to incorporate this in our circuit, we usually need to use 18. So you have your, uh, your common at 18, and you have your, uh, your common 15, and then you have your control uh, in 18, okay? So in any case, if you're using it to control th uh, three phase, it means if one phase uh, goes out here, then our circuit will deactivate. Or if one of the phases uh, experiences uh, under voltage, the circuit will deactivate uh, right here, okay? Yeah, so usually that's uh, what happens, okay? So probably in the next video, I'll show you how to incorporate uh, this small device into uh, your circuit for you to be able to protect that uh, circuit. Remember, you can uh, protect your circuit, both three phase and uh, single phase. Alternatively, you may have uh, this. This is also uh, a phase failure, but now this is purely a single phase. Okay? This is purely a single phase where you're going to feed your L, uh, you feed your L and your neutral. Okay? And then it will start uh, uh, monitoring. Of course, you're going to set the same way, the same way you're using uh, these analog dials to set the thresholds and also the timing so this is digital you're able to set uh, the counter and you're able to set the thresholds between the under voltage and over voltage and also the hysteresis okay yeah so uh that's it for now uh thanks for watching until next time i'm out